Hello, and welcome to the Fandalorian Fandalore election. Tonight we find out who wins. As for right now, Monty Fandalorian is in the lead. Let's check in with our candidates. First, we'll start with our front runner, Monty Fandalorian. Thank you, Philip. My administration, along with the SWS, has put together a coalition of toilet paper zombies to discuss the problem of our toilet paper shortage and solve that problem. Wow, great. Now let's check in with the Lot Danvers campaign. Thank you, Philip. We're here in Dan's garage, which is essentially a prison for toys. And we vow to get all of these toys out of their boxes. That is a bull-faced lie. You want to lock up more toys and keep them in prison so people can look at them like they're animals in a zoo. How dare you accuse me of wanting to put toys in boxes? I vow here and now never to put a toy in a box again. Except for Philip. Okay, gentlemen, let's quit the fighting and get together for the results. Wow, that was quick. The results haven't changed since last we checked in. Monty Fandalorian with seven, and Mr. Lot with one. I wonder who voted for me. You mean you didn't vote for yourself? I didn't know you can do that. Converters, did you vote for us? Uh, I didn't vote for anyone. Oh no, I better get on that. And now that all the votes are in, it's time to declare our winner. And with Monty 7, Mr. Lot 3, the winner is... Monty Fandalorian! What in the hell? I can't have this going on in my administration. Mr. Lot, do you just want to be my vice president? All right. But well, what are you going to do with these two? I've got a pretty good idea. It's so cold in here. Winter has come. See, Mr. Lot, I told you you'd still be boxing toys. Screw you, Monty. Screw you. 